Um, a lot of people who've had COVID report suffering from so-called brain fog that lingers long after they've recovered from the initial infection. And these include symptoms like loss of attention, concentration, and memory lapse. Now some new research is offering insight into what may be causing the persistent brain issues. Here's Teresa Priolo with details. Over the last two years, we've seen COVID symptoms range from severe to more benign, the severity of which typically tied to viral load and a patient's medical history. But now researchers at Tulane have concluded COVID causes significant inflammation in the brain. Tracy Fisher is the lead researcher at Tulane's National Primate Research Center. What we found was that the animals, whether they had developed severe respiratory uh, symptoms or pathology that regardless of that they all had some degree of neuropathology uh, where they had inflammation in the brain uh, the majority of animals had micro hemorrhages or these are small bleeds into the brain and then we also saw uh, significant neuronal degeneration or death. Whether or not you're hospitalized, convalescing at home, or asymptomatic, COVID may have infiltrated your brain, and the impact runs the gamut. Individuals have reported brain fog, but then there's other individuals that have had a dramatic uh, alteration of their life because they, uh, they cannot concentrate, they cannot remember things. Dr. Derek Chong is a neurologist with Lenox Hill. For the last two years, COVID patients have come to him for answers. Yeah, there's definitely patients who have had post-COVID neurological dysfunction and uh, that ranges from headaches and fatigue to just not really being able to get the same horsepower out like everything becomes effortful so like maybe total iq is fine but it just takes a lot more effort to do things like multitasking or a prioritization, things that would be fairly simple for people. In neurology, it can be hard to parse out what's COVID related and also a predestined illness. In terms of brain fog fatigue, there's some similarities to the post concussion population, you know, post TBI, and maybe there are some similarities and patients are responding to some of the same treatments that we would give for concussion. The primate study was done after the animals died, so the findings are not easily transferable to humans. However, researchers at Tulane hope they'll be able to find a way to move this issue out of primate research and into the broader conversation about long COVID. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.